There is a huge comet headed towards Earth. It's the nightmare scenario we've seen play out in countless Hollywood hits. It's what we call a global killer. Our planet threatened by a massive comet or asteroid. Three, two, one. And now, in just a matter of hours, scientists hope to pull off their first real-life test aimed at preventing this kind of cataclysmic collision. After the end of the first stage, and you can see those engines coming to life. For nearly a year now, an unmanned spacecraft called DART for Double Asteroid Redirection Test has traveled millions of miles through space. Its goal, intercept and slam right into an asteroid called Dimorphos at a relative speed of 14,000 miles per hour. We're targeting that small asteroid at a very fast speed. Among the many challenges, Dimorphos is a moonlet, or a smaller asteroid orbiting a much bigger one called Didymus. DART is also using autonomous technology to make its direct hit. Since launching last fall, the camera system on board has taken more than 200,000 images to calibrate the spacecraft, all of it building up to a calculated crash tonight. This mission has two parts. The first part is hitting the asteroid, the next part is actually measuring what happens afterwards. Using telescopes on all seven continents and in space, scientists will monitor in the coming days and weeks exactly how much the impact is able to shift the orbit of Dimorphos. This is really not about destroying the asteroid or destructing it. It's a, we like to call it like a small nudge. A mission marking the first test in planetary defense so that if an asteroid ever did threaten Earth, we might potentially knock it off its course. We have the technology now uh, to do this and find these objects uh, years, uh, decades, uh, even a century uh, before they pose an impact uh, threat to the Earth. And there, and that uh, provides us plenty of time then uh, to uh, decide what is the best uh, technique uh, to prevent the impact. And Tom, as I understand it, this mission is just one of several strategies NASA is considering to use against asteroids. So they're looking at how they could deflect an asteroid that's coming into our lane, into our lane, you may say. And one idea might be shooting ion beams or using a, a gravity tractor with another spacecraft to pull an asteroid off its course. Sounds like something from Star Trek, but they can do it. Even sending a spacecraft to detonate a nuclear device near an incoming asteroid to break it up on short notice remains an option. If all goes as planned, we should see impact this evening. It will not put this asteroid on a path towards Earth. We do expect to see images coming back from DART in the final minutes at about one per second. Uh, should be a lot of fun to watch. Wow. Well, let's hope it works. Yeah. Glad somebody's yeah. thinking about it. Tom, thank you. And if it works, we play the Aerosmith track. I know. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Don't want to miss a thing. Thank you. Yes. Remember? Yeah, Armageddon? Yeah, the best. Forget. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.